તમે આ જ વાત એમ કહો પછી ચંદ્ર જેવી છે પણ ચંદ્રનું કોઈ મહત્વ નથી કારણ કે ચંદ્રનું ચંદ્રનું પોતાનું પ્રકાશ નથી તમને સાયન્સ પણ એ ખબર છે ચંદ્ર એ કોના પ્રકાશ ઉપર આધારિત છે એ સૂર્યના પ્રકાશ ઉપર આધારિત છે પછી બીજું કે તું તું જેમ શું એટલે તું શું તું એ તું તું મારા ઉપર જ આધાર રાખજે મારા વિના તારું અસ્તિત્વ નથી તો એ બરાબર બીજું પછી તમે કહેવું જેમ છે તું તો ચંદ્ર જે મૂડી ચંદ્ર પંદર દિવસ આખો પંદર દિવસ ધીમે ધીમે અડધો થાય છે અને પૂનામાં દિવસ આખો હોય એમ તો આવે કોઈ દિવસ તો ખુશ હોય તો કોઈ દિવસ તો ગુસ્સામાં હોય આ પ્રકારની છે પછી ચંદ્ર ઉપર ડાક છે એમ તારા ચહેરા ઉપર એ ખીલોના ડાક છે અને આવું બધું તમે બોલો તો શું હાલત થાય તમારી દેર વોઝ ઇટ ઇટ હેઝ અ નો લોજિક અધરવાઇઝ યુ યુઝ ધ લોજિક ફોર ઇન્ટલેક્ટ તો ધીસ વોઝ કમ્પેરિઝન ઇઝ મિનિંગલેસ યર ફ્રેન્ડ ઇન ધ સેમ વે in geometric phase which involves the big topology is the example you can now understand easily very good and i think that n n logic and i have to you can say that we have i have to give the example now i try to analyze the first part and here i have to make the example the which means there are the stock of phases where all the logic is absent there are the big i have to give now gujarati also फूलों सा चेहरा तेरा कलियों की मुस्कान है रुको तेरा देख के वॉट एवर देट इन दूवीज ऑफ वेंकटेश प्रसाद ऑफ साउथ देर वॉज सॉन्ग वॉज पिक्चराइजेशन ऑन द अनाडी ऑन बराबर ऑन देर वॉज इक्वली देर वॉज देर वॉज अ वेंकटेश प्रसाद एंड करिश्मा कपूर एंड ही कैन सॉन्ग दिस वर्ल्ड यू कैन कंपेयर बाई डियर फ्रेंड फूल वो सा तेरा चेहरा द फूल और एक फ्लावर इज बीटिंग फूल यू अप इन द मॉर्निंग एंड evening or two after day whatever it was it was a problems kali we can see if that what happened there but it is a completely very beautiful she was smiling the heroine of that song when they heard that smiling but because it is a very just like the it was a image of the idiomatic phrase if analysis logically so it is a meaningless it is a meaningless but even that they make the interesting appeal to the પર્સન ઓકે દેટ તમે તો પુરુષ જ નથી શું કીધું ના ના તમે તો મહાપુરુષ વોટ ઇઝ અ વર્સ મહાપુરુષ ઇવન વોટ ઇઝ અ પુરુષ બટ વોટ ઇઝ ધ મિનિંગ ઓફ ધ વર્લ્ડ યુઆર એટલે પિક્ટર તમે તો પિક્ટર જેવો બહાદુર છો વોટ ઇઝ હેપન દેટ બટ ઇવન દેટ ધીઝ ઇઝ અ ફ્રેઝ યુઝ ઇન ઇંગ્લિશ લેંગ્વેજ યુમિક ફ્રેઝ and it makes the proud to the person for whom you use this word for whom they use this word they become feel the proud for one that is the first one first five those which involves a bridge of logic and means there is talk of the number of things or logic but logic is already absent and i give the example of it fit as figure and bold as a class okay second parts of that idiomatic field which involves a bridge of grammar or syntax so the bridge that i want understand bridge means a cut off or there is no follow the agreement no follow the there is you have studied in fib subject verb agreement can you understand subject verb agreement you have to put is i to use the am he use the is and they do you must be use the r it is the agreement of the words girls is not girls are girl is in these other we can say the particular but some of the idiomatic phrase which involves a bridge of grammar they have to no agreement no relation they cut off with the grammar and syntax they are not but even that they use they are the meaningful but grammatical they are meaningless how can for example i give the example grammar and usage do not always agree in this idiomatic phase there was not we can use or follow the rules of the grammar they do not follow the rules of grammar even that that's why they are they are less important in the literary literary sense they have less importance they have grammar and usage they do 
non equivalent for example grammatical equivalent if you want to write down or anybody say that it is i grammatical what is i it is i but what you can say that we can always put that it is me always we can say that it is me grammatical it is me is a according to grammatical syntax it is me is a wrong but generally in regular use or daily use whatever we use so we use it is me not it is i in idiomatic phrase there are two types which are no logically i have interesting bold as beautiful and see the header and here those are the idiomatic phrase we have no relation with the grammar or syntax generally for example we cannot say that it is i we do not say that it is i it is wrong. it is i is right but always we can say that it is me now you can understand importance of idiomatic phrase the meaning of the words now there are two types of idiomatic phrase even okay friend i have to pause there i have to write down the word definition here also for friend we have to move switch over there first we can understand first words then first step second and this is the third and this is the fourth and this is the last one okay understand okay don't worry sir sir okay that it is the word idiomatic phrase then we can understand what do you mean by ring the is standing apart from its own if any of you now i have to give the definition of this idiomatic phrase is you understand the difference right? idiomatic phrase is a combination of words what is dear friend combination of words here it is said it is me fit and pow bold and beautiful and we have some understand this that so it is a combination of words that has a figurative meaning you can understand that figure amuk figure saras figure the beauty of the girl's figure it is on the real figure 2000 so it is figure aankara and figure of speech yeah how can i forget about it you studied already semester 4 figure of speech so it has a meaning of figurative meaning and it also has a meaning alankarit arth thato hoy che a idiomatic phrase is a combination of words ये शब्दों जोड़ाण के लिए फिगरेटिव मीनिंग थत हो सौंदर्यात्मक अर्थ विके अर्थ थत हो रीच इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम लिटरल मीनिंग और डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड व्हाट इज दैट इडियोमेटिक फेज इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड ये शब्दों ने जोड़ाण छे रीच हैज अ फिगरेटिव मीनिंग ना कि आई थिंक चांसा मुखड़ा तेरा तो चांसा मुखड़ा तेरा व्हाट हैपेंड देयर चांद ऊपर तो दाग छे पण इट इज द फिगरेटिव मीनिंग ये सरस लागे ये चील सी आंखें तेरी इसमें डूब जाए हम कहीं खो जाए हम के ना चील चील इले पानी में तड़ा चील इले जड़नो तड़ा व नानो तो इन चील के हम आवे चील सी आंखें आंखों ने कंपे चील साथे करे तो इट इज द फिगरेटिव मीनिंग आणि सु के भाई फिगर अलंकारिक अर्थ विच बट विच इज सेपरेटेड इन साइंटिफिक अर्थ ना कि लॉजिकल के से ग्रामेटिकल अर्थ का तो थतो होतो नथी एंड व्हाट डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनी व्याख्या ऑफ द वर्ड इज अ डोनी डेफिनेशन और लिटरल मीनिंग इज डिफरेंट ऑफ व्हिच इट मेड यमाती बनाव माया वर्ड इज द यूज द वर्ड आई हैव जी जी लेट लाइक लॉजिकली तुम इनो मीनिंग कर लिटरल मीनिंग तो पानी में जो आखो दैट वाज हाउ कैन दे बोथ आर कंपैरिजन दैट दैट वाज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड एंड लिटरल मीनिंग इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम बोथ आर द फिगरेटिव बट फिगरेटिव वी कैन से द चांद सा मुखड़ा तेरा और वी कैन दिल से आंखें तेरी तो इज आर द वर्ड वी कैन से द सो यू कैन नाउ इजीली अंडरस्टैंड दैट इडियोमेटिक फेज इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड व्हिच इज which uh, so that has a figurative meaning which is separate from literal meaning or definition of the word of which it is made this shabdo thi banavayo hoy ena ka tane sahityik ke vyakhyayit arth alag thato hoy pan eno figurative alankritit ene arth thato hoy eva shabdo ne su kevay it is the you can say the definition of it 